just talk about what the emotions were like throughout this day hearing this news especially on your behalf and then your the team as well um it was very emotional you know being able to have a coach like coach Dan Brock and the coaching staff that we had this is the uh these coaches they recruited me one of the coaches had left the coaching staff but uh credit to him as well for putting me with these guys you know, he's a great group of guys. It was really emotional being, in, being able to hear his story and how he gets to finish out being an 18 champion. So it's a beautiful story in the end, and I feel like we're not done yet. It's, it's more to add, more history to add. What has your relationship been like with Coach? Uh, it's, been, it's been pretty good. You know, he's been, he's been a great, you know, older male model in my life, especially, you know, being in my younger 20s as a, a black man growing up in this area. So it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely been good having him in my life. He, uh, he definitely teaches a lot of life lessons, life morals throughout basketball, whether that's in practice, whether that's on the court, whether that's him just calling you to check in. So it means a lot. You know, with him, obviously, this throughout this year, dealing with some stuff off the court with his wife, having to step away a couple times, um, was there was there a sense of togetherness coming together as a team for him? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, we, we're pretty much a family when it comes to the ba this basketball team. So hearing the news of that, it made us want to go harder, not only for her, but for ourselves as well, you know, show a coach that we care about, not just, it's not just basketball, it's more than basketball, like, it's a family, it's a brotherhood, that's something that we preach from day one, so that's, that's what it meant, you know, being able to do that and accomplish that goal, it meant everything. The timing of this coming between the 8 championship and then your game on Thursday, how do you guys, you know, shift your mindset going into that tournament game? Uh, you know, we just got to shift it back into day one of the A-10 tournament. One day, one game at a time. So I feel like if we go in there with that mindset and lock in on the on the scouting report, I feel like we'll come out with the victory. Speaking of the scouting report, what if, how, have you, if anything, what have you seen from VC, or sorry, BYU? Um, I, I just, I know they're a good offensive team, you know, a team that can get going on offense. So they got a lot of shooters. And, you know, we're a gritty, tough-knit defensive team. So I feel like if we come out and just play our play style, I feel like we can make something happen.